Praise the Lord. Good day. To God be the glory continually. Always, always, always. I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this is a blessing to you. And I hope that it would make a difference in your life. Um, on today, we're going to talk about Kwana, which is jealous God. We're going to be talking about God in his jealousy. And God in his jealousy is not that God is jealous of us or he's jealous of what we have or, you know, those that kind of a jealousy. No, his love for us uh, brings us in, brings him into, <clears throat> into a jealous love for us. Um, I want to just use uh, a reference that came to my mind in prayer. The Holy Spirit just reminded me and then I had to go research and found a scripture that was actually compared to it. God is always revealing himself. So I was thinking about it in prayer and just in communication with the Lord and how God is a jealous God. He's a consuming fire. In Deuteronomy 34 and 14, it says, and it says, do not worship any other God for the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous God. And I just have to pray about that and talk about it because it's been an issue ongoing that the focus on the love for God has been always taken away and placed into other things and other people. And as I was communicating with the Lord and I just said, Lord, it's just how you are, how we have husbands and we have wives and we're in relationship as human beings. And um, we are faithful in that relationship to our husbands and or our wives. So it's the same as Jesus is married to us because it says it in uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 2. It says, I am a jealous God for you with a godly jealousy. I promise you to, to one husband, to Christ, so that I might present you as a pure virgin to him. So his jealousy is a jealousy that actually would brings us into, uh, into the kingdom of heaven. Where God is actually jealous to know that we're worshiping everything except him. He wants for us to be brought into heavenly places and know that, and know that we are going to be with him for all eternity. And it's the same thing when we have husbands and wives in our relationships. We're faithful and we're committed, we're devoted, we talk to each other, we commune with each other. Why is it that we take God lightly and we don't do these things as human beings? We tend to put God on the side, put, the, put him on the side until there is a great need for him or until there is a dire and a desperate desperate situation. I'm going to read a few uh, scripture, um, a few scriptures in Deuteronomy 4 and 24 says, for the Lord, your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. We know that God is a consuming fire. We sing consumers, Lord, and overtakers and, you know, let your fire consume us. But if the fire of the Holy Spirit truly, truly would consume us, and truly, if we were to truly allow God to consume us, we would truly see his glory. We would be burnt away, not only in song, but our whole being and our life and our minds and our hearts. Everything would be devoted and changed and surrendered unto God. And this is what we're asking God on today for a total surrender, for a total deliverance. So that when the fire of the Holy Spirit will consume us, we will be devoted to him. And we would look like the illumination of him and him alone. God is, God is trying to get his people to understand his true righteousness, his true holiness. And I just write that God has a righteous jealousy. He desires all of us. Our worship, our praise, our adoration, our love, our passion, fear of him and for him. He is married to us faithfully and desire our sincere faithful, faithfulness and devotion to him. Just as we have husbands and wives, like I used that illustration already, we have husbands and wives in the natural, we are committed and devoted to them. God is committed 
to us and he is faithful and true and he's being faithful and true to us before we knew ourselves and before we were even created. This is where he is known as a jealous God. Kuana, a Jehovah Kuana, because our adoration should be to him. Our devotion, our commitment, our praise, we were created to worship him. So when we when we tend to not worship him, when we tend to step on the side and just put everything else before him, it becomes just like in the natural. If you decide that you're going to see somebody else or you're going to focus your attention on somebody else other than your spouse, other than your family, then it becomes an issue in the household. So it's an issue with God that we take ourselves and we put ourselves um, and our attention and our focus to everything else except God. God is a jealous God. He is jealous. He is zealous. He is, he is longing for our attention. He created us that we so that we can worship him, that we can understand the, and appreciate the love that he has for us. So he's seeking. We do not rather him in true faithfulness and holiness and adore him and worship his holy name. So he wants for us to adore him in our holiness, in the true holiness of his image. Say God desires our attention and our time in meditation, in prayer, in his word, and time alone with him. And just as uh, we speak to people, we need to continue in our communication consistently with God. All right. Um. And we have to be really careful that we place nothing before God because this is where his jealousy comes in. So we have to honor him in our relationship with God faithfully and love and devotion to him. Exodus 20 and 5 says, you should not bow down to them or worship them for I, the Lord your God, is a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of their parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Deuteronomy 5 and 9 says, you should not bow down to them or worship them for I, the Lord your God, is a jealous God, punishing the children for the sins of their parents, for those who hate me. Uh, for the Lord, uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 15 says, for the Lord your God, who's, who's among you, is a jealous God. See, we have many scriptures and his anger will burn against you and he will destroy you from the face of the land. So God is, it, it, it is to a point that God is jealous. God is a jealous God. He's a loving God. He's a caring God. He's patient. He's kind. All the attributes represent him as his word says. But we have to be very careful because God is a jealous God. And as we know, with jealousy, even in the natural, things happen when you're jealous. And God says in um, Psalms 18 and 80, he says, smoke arose from the nostril, consuming fire from his mouth, burning coals ablaze out of it. Why? His coal and the burning of his smoke even in 2 Samuel 22 and 9, it says, smoke rose from the nostrils and consuming fire from his mouth, burning coals blaze out of it. And it says in a few other places in the Bible, in my research, I was like, wow. So God is so to the point that he's, <clears throat> that he is uh, upset with what is taking place. The idol worship, the things that we take our attention and focus it on to other things. So I want to encourage you on today before we pray really quickly to focus our attention and our love and our devotion, our meditation, our time, our passion, everything towards God in true reverence, respect, and holiness. So let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you on this morning. God, we give you glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, we tell you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. You get the glory. You get the honor. You get the praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Get all the honor. Get all the glory. Let the whole world get the praise. Give you the praise. Let the entire nation worldwide, from every corner, east, west, north, and south, give you the honor. Father, have your way, God. Draw men unto you, God. Draw men unto you. Let the nation know, God, that you are true and 
living. And you desire the worship. You desire the praise, all the adoration, all the all the honor, all the glory. Oh God, let your nation bow down and worship you. Father, remove the things out of the midst of your people that would separate them from you, that would separate their devotion and their praise and their, oh God, worship towards you. Move things that will cost us, oh God, to lose focus and attention towards you. Father God, let the focus of the nation be to you, God. Every idol that has been built up, God, I declare it be removed in the name of Jesus. Every person, thing, or, or, or possession that has taken the place of God, that has been adored and worship everything that has been a distraction oh god every social media god every phone every oh god conversation every oh god everything that is not of you every addiction in the name of jesus i declare that it would be cast down that the people of god would focus their attention on you, God, and you alone. Because your word said that you are a consuming fire. Father, God, if we were to be consumed with your fire, truly, we would be, oh God, a difference. We would be an illumination of your presence and your glory. We would be, oh God, the image and the glory of the Lord would shine upon us, God. Let your glory shine through and through the earth, God. Purify this nation. Oh God, take away everything, God, that is not like you. Strip your people, God, till they look like you tell you get the glory tell you become the image of the nation in the name of Jesus oh God rid us of everything God that is not like you remove us oh God into a place where we fear you God where we worship you where we adore you where we praise you where we give your name the glory that nothing oh God would stop our praise to you father remove us from the things of this world move us oh God for you said God to be oh God a friend to world to the world is an enemy to you so father let our focus be drawn back to you Draw the focus of the nation back to you, Jesus. Draw the hearts and the minds of the nation back to you, Jesus. Oh, Father, purify the hearts, oh God, of the nation. Purify the minds, God, until they look like you, Jesus. Let your burning and consuming fire burn, oh God, everything away, God. Oh God, let the illumination of you, God, oh God, enlighten the nation, God, that it must be purified with you. Put us through, God. Put us through, God. Hallelujah. Put us through the process, God. Hallelujah, God. Everybody want to reach to the end goal, but not go through the process. Put the nation through the process until we bow down in your presence, until we look like you, until we worship you, until we lay aside our weights, until we cast down everything that is not like you. Burn us, oh God, and purify us until we look like the image and the glory of you. Father, I bless you on today. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. God, I bless you on today. I come to say, have your way in the nation. Have your way in this nation. Oh, God, so many are so far from you. Have your way in the nation. Have your way in the nation, Jesus. The nation is void of you. So many are lost and don't know their way. But Father, have your way in the nation. Draw men back to you. Oh God, let us encourage somebody as we walk out of our homes. As we walk out of our homes, open our eyes that we would see. Open our ears that we would hear the silent cries and the petition of your people. Open our eyes and our understanding, God. Give us discernment, God, that we would know you and see you in a greater way, God. Father, thank you on today, God. Let us encourage those that are discouraged. So, God, on today, I pray that you would have your way. Have your way, Jesus. You are in control. Hallelujah, God. You said you're married to us. You're married to Israel. We are your children. So we say thank you, Lord. I say thank you for being a father to us. Thank you, God, that we're preparing ourselves to walk into your heavenly places. Thank you for the preparation of the hearts and the minds for the nation. Draw us back to you, God. Let there be a revival in this nation. That this nation would look like you. Oh God, that it would sound like you. 
oh God, that the presence of the nation would be, oh God, Jesus. So Father, I say thank you on today. And I say have your way. These things we ask in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Burn it away, God, everything that is not like you. Let your consuming fire move through and through this nation. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Remember, God is a jealous God, and he desires our worship.